This one's a requested video by one of my viewers. He wanted me to do an update video to uh, subcast from the command line. And I did this video like two, three years ago. I actually watched it yesterday. It was pretty bad. So let me do a, an update here. And I actually changed some of the code too uh, to make it a little bit more easier. And so let me explain you what subcast is if you don't know. Basically, it's a P2P technology to watch uh, streaming uh, videos. So you can watch like TV shows, movies, even actually live sporting events. Um, you just got to find the feed though. Um, anyways, what do you need to do to uh, use this here? So this is my script. I'm going to explain the script first, okay? So I just rewrote it yesterday. Uh, a little bit more modular, I guess. So this one is just basically your player. And you can use any uh, player that, you know, that can um, use Sopcast streams. So I, by default, I like using CVLC, which is the command line player. Uh, but you can also use the GUI VLC also. And you can use M player. Now the thing is, I would probably recommend you use uh, VLC because that one supports um, Sopcast um, feeds really well. As far as for M player, from my experience, even though I like M player a little bit more, uh, it's not really good with Sopcast feeds. It sometimes it gives you delays or the video goes too fast or the audio is out of sync. Too much shit with that, all right? So that's why VLC is the way to go. And here is just the sleep time. So this one is basically uh, gives uh, Sopcast, the command line program, to have enough time to make a connection with the channel. And if you have a slower connection, it might take longer. So you have to, you know, increase it to maybe 20 seconds or 30 seconds, depending on your connection. So I like it uh, 15 by default. And this is just the port. You can use any ports you want. So this is the Sopcast local port here. And this is your uh, player port that you're going to connect to, uh, to view the streams. Okay. And this one is to manually kill the Sopcast command line. Because some people, like, uh, I've seen this on people that use the GUI. They think that they close the GUI, that uh, it will close the, uh, the background process. And that's not always the case. Usually it fails or something like that. And uh, they don't realize that because they don't see any, uh, you know, videos anymore. Um, but it actually runs in the background. If you, you know, if you want to make sure that it's killed, you got to do this one, all right? Uh, just kill all SP-SC and uh, it will kill it for sure okay anyways go down here this part here this is uh the script to or the function here to uh access a new channel so basically what it does is it'll kill any existing uh, channel and this one is to establish a new connection right and this one is the sleep time that uh will wait for the connection to be stable and then it'll start up um what is that your player, like your VLC or M player, and it'll open to that channel that we want. And then we're gonna wait for that player to exit. So it's gonna wait for these commands up here uh, to exit, right? And um, it's gonna kill itself. So it's gonna kill the uh, background softcast process, right? So that's it for that. Anyways, these are some of the channels I got. I just got it yesterday. And. Um, what do you do here? So basically it uses this function here that we created and we're just going to plug that sucker in here and what it does is just going to do that function and the feed that we want. So these are uh, the URLs to that channel feed, right? And let me give you a uh, demonstration of how this works here from the command line. So you bust out your terminal and all you got to do is type in your alias uh, for that. So you do if you have ZSH, you can also do, uh, you know, the menu completion thing here. And you can choose whatever you want. So I usually like to watch the Nat Geo Wild stuff. Because uh, you watch animals killing uh, other animals or some people or something like that. So we'll wait here for 15 seconds and the stream should pop up. So we'll wait. Um, so, you know, if you never use um, Sopcast before... It's a pretty cool way because it does use uh, the P2P thing and it's actually really stable as a far as uh, opposed to some of these other feeds. Um, you know, it might lag or something like that. This one is actually very smooth. Okay. And anyways, this is uh, Sopcast. You can watch it here full screen. Uh, you can pop it out and, you know, move it around if you want. 
so on and so forth. And the proper way to exit this is don't close, uh, you know, the X uh, on top of your uh, media player or anything like that. Bust out your terminal again and hit Control C. That way it will actually kill the background process. Otherwise, you might have to do uh, that uh, alias that we set up, which is kill. And to make sure it kills that uh, SPSC uh, process. If you don't know what that is, uh, the SPSC is basically that is the the um, Sopcast program. You can see that they give you options here, right? So that is the the, the Sopcast program, uh, and you want to kill it because that's one is just a background. You're not going to see it um, if you just close your player only. Anyways, um, that's really all you got to do to set that up. Put that in your Bash RC or ZSH RC. And obviously you need to install the uh, command line Sopcast version. Uh, there is GUIs to this, so if you don't want to use the command line, just use the GUI. Uh, I'll post you videos to the GUI uh, in the description also if you're not into the command line. Say fuck that shit, right? <laughs> but anyways, this is the PPA that I used when I was using the Ubuntu's for the Sopcast command line. And the Sopcast command line is just a SP... AUT uh, AUTH here right this one is the GUI here so don't be confused this one is the command line um, and that's one is on Ubuntu slash Debian but if you're on Arch it's just called Sopcast right um, if you're using the 64-bit you want to get it from the multi-lib repositories if you're using a 32-bit um, you know you want to get it from the community repositories so that's really all you gotta do to install those suckers um, and something else oh yeah how to get channels because you need fucking channels right and uh, sometimes even though I have some channels here this is actually I added yesterday because all my old channels um, that I found were dead and especially if you're watching like sports uh, sometimes they only have that channel for one day and then they kill it so it just depends on the channel it might last for a month six months a year uh, but eventually I think it will, you know, it will die out. So how do you get new channels? And there's a few sites here, so what the hell is the other site? So this one was the original one that I used to find channels, but it's dead now. Although it's still some useful information if you want to read the forums here. And this is by, what is that, WYSIWYG, uh, EU here. Right, so you can go read up on that if you want. Uh, but if you want to get channels right away, you can go to this site, it's just, uh, what is this site called? UCOZ.com, whatever. And you see they have like uh, sports channels here, which I don't really watch. Uh, but if you want to watch like some other channels like in English or whatever the language that you speak, then you just click on those and they should have some in your language. Uh, sometimes it's subtitles, sometimes it's... Um, yeah, subtitle sometimes is native, who knows. But let's say for example, if you want to test it out your channels that you just found, for example, let me give you an example of one that fails first, and then we'll give you one that is successful, right? So this one, I know I tried this uh, earlier, but let's say you want to copy this, right? The code. We have a link here, it can be bigger here. So you have a link here and you say, wow, that looks interesting, uh, some Australian stuff, who knows? I want to see if it works first, all right? So we're going to bust out our terminal again. And we're just going to use that uh, SPPC uh, alias that we have. And we're just going to paste this in. This one is just to test if the channel actually works for C4B we add it in uh, you know, our bash RC or ZSH RC. So we'll wait for 15 seconds and uh, we'll see if there's an error or not. <clears throat> so you see that this one, it says, um, unable to open right and there's no video or whatever uh, that means that this channel doesn't work so that give you one example for that there um, for a channel that doesn't work um, so next thing let's do a channel that does work uh, and where the hell is that I think they have some Disney channel there you go Disney and here they have was it Disney Junior or whatever so we copy this one then and we'll do the same thing again and we'll paste it now some of these streams um, sometimes it doesn't uh, you know this offline at certain hours and it's, it's online on, on other hours 
So it really depends, uh, you know, where it came from, whatever, and you'll see. So there you go. This one does work, and, and that's what it looks like when you have like success, I guess. Uh, a video will pop up, and here you go. Nick, uh, was that Disney Junior? There you go. And like I said before, when you want to exit this sucker, uh, just because my script sucks, you have to do, uh, you know, open the terminal and hit Control C from here, and then it'll exit properly. 100% of the time, I think, right? So that's that. Now, uh, those two websites are okay, but if you wanna find like uh, newer ones on yourself, you can always bust out Google, you know, and search for, what the hell did I put in here? Put some examples up here. There you go. Uh, just search for this. Uh, it's bust out Google, search for that sucker. Right, and let me uh, zoom in on this sucker here so you can see. Uh, that's all you really gotta search for. And you wanna filter it out. So we do search here by the time. And you wanna do it maybe a week or 24 hours, depending on if it's a sports event. If it's sports events, um, you know, you wanna do like in the last 24 hours when you post anything. Uh, but let's say you do the last week or something. And there you go, see you, you find some of these streams here. They might give you a title, it might be in some other language, who knows, but uh, usually it's, it's a lot of soccer events. But uh, let's say for example, this one, which is the one I found earlier, and this one, you click on this sucker, and uh, I know as a person that updated this, so it must be correct, you know. And for example, let's say we uh, uh, add one of these channels in here. Let's say for example, there's uh, AXN Crime here. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Right, and all you gotta do is just copy this sucker, and then we'll test it again. Copy, and let's bust out our um, terminal here. And when we get a success, we just add it to our uh, list of channels that we wanna watch uh, on a daily basis or weekly or whatever. But anyways, let's wait for this stream to see if it works or not. And there we go. See, bust it out, and then here's our stream. So we know that this one works, and when we know it works, we just add it to our list of uh, channels that we want to watch. So let's close that off, bust out our uh, bash or ZSHRC here, and let's go down. And what was that one called? It's AXN, uh, something like that. So YY, and we'll do, yeah, AXN, uh, was that crime or something? And we're gonna go over here and we're gonna paste that sucker in and there you go that's how you add uh, a new channel not that hard and it's all from the command line so it doesn't take up any well it doesn't require any other libraries I guess uh, for GUIs or whatever um, so that's how I do it you know here so I'll post you everything all the scripts and stuff in the description if you want to do this you know I really hope that uh, or I really wish someone would do something like this where they have uh, all the channels in uh, the format that I want in here and I just do a git pull you know from the repositories that would be great if someone wants to set that up and check all the channels for me because I'm too lazy to uh, check all the channels because I usually just watch a few channels that I like like the Nat Geo Wild and the History Channel and stuff like that um, but you can watch you know um, what's that TV shows movies sports events so on and so forth if you can find the feed uh, they do have HBO and all stuff on here too. Anywho, that's how you do that, and that's the update video. Hopefully, you understand it better this time because I did watch the old one uh, yesterday. It was pretty shit. All right, that'd be it.